Mongoose Jake here with my quick review of the new Nerf Doomland series holdout. All it is basically is a $10 blaster that is a single shot, rear prime, and front loaded pistol with a small transparent panel that you can actually see through to see the plunger tube, the spring, and if you look close enough you can actually see the catch mechanism. It comes with a scope attachment that also has two places for darts that you can fit in there on top. Uh, personal personal taste will come later, but this is what you get for ten dollars. Comes with the two Doomlands colored Nerf Elite darts. They are just Nerf Elite darts in different colors. You get the little attachment. You get the pistol. <clears throat> now focusing on the pistol specifically. I like this thing. It is a very steady prime, not ultra heavy, but not light. Um, it has a very smooth action to it. The grip is comfortable. As you can see, I can fully wrap my hand, and that's pretty nice. That's you know, I have an adult sized hand. I don't need to go into all the details, but my adult hand fits on there. So that's pretty good. It is a rear prime with a direct plunger tube on it mounted on to the uh, priming bar. Very good for possible modification there. These tend to be able to take higher spring rates. But stock, how does it perform? I put it up on my chronograph and I fired about 30 shots. This thing was surprising me, so I kept shooting. I fired at least another 20 more, so I probably put 50 shots or so through a chronograph. And this is consistently averaging slightly higher than elite performance. The elite standard is 70 feet per second. I am getting about 71 to 72, which is very good for Nerf. It's a bit below uh, normal standards for Dart Zone, Busby, X Shot. Those still are, you know, a little bit higher. But for what you get, that's good. That's promising. So, you actually will be able to outperform a number of the newer blasters in at least a velocity. It is single shot, so keep that in mind. But what, it, what about the scope attachment? Well, it's fairly large for the pistol. The, the aesthetics will be personal taste whether you like that or not. Now, I do like the idea of them including uh, a couple of dart hold, holding positions on top. So if I take uh, some darts here, you know, I can actually you know, load it up. And those are fairly convenient to be able to grab, load, and fire. That's not a bad idea. They have more space. They could have put, you know, four or five even. But the two is nice. So, what does it come down to for me? I personally probably wouldn't leave that on there. Uh, it's a little big. I would, however, say that that looks pretty nice on a lawbringer. Just an idea. I think that that, that actually looks pretty good. So that might that might stay on the Lawbringer. Uh, most most attachments don't look good on the on the Doomland series because of the colors, and so that's why I don't have any optics on my Lawbringer. But that looks pretty good. So pistol specifically, I like it. I like this thing quite a bit. It's ten dollars, so it's very reasonably priced, and that's not normally the case for newer Nerf releases. Their prices keep going higher and higher and higher. So to release a ten dollar pistol that performs well. That's fantastic. I don't care that it's single loaded. This thing will fit in a holster, no problem, especially without the optic on there. It'll even fit in a pocket, no problem. It's small enough that it will fit in a cargo pocket and it's got pretty good performance. So that to me is, is definitely a win. And I could see taking up the dart post, the ear restrictor, throwing in a slightly higher spring, it, just appearance wise, I haven't tore it down yet. Appearance wise, it looks like the same diameter and uh, frequency of coils as a retaliator spring. So I could see you know throwing in a pretty good spring in there and patting the, the plunger head and you could have yourself a decent little pistol here. Especially you know this is something that looks good too because that actually looks pretty good. So final verdict is I'm going to recommend this. The uh, Doomlands Holdout is actually a really nice looking little pistol. Comfortable grip, rear direct prime, and by that, of course, I'm meaning that there is no uh, linkages, no weird angles. 
you're pulling directly on the plunging rod and the plunger tube. So that, or not plunger tube, you're pulling right on the plunger rod and plunger itself. Nothing in between. It's part of why people like the, uh, the Nerf Mega Hot Shot for modding, because that direct prime is very, very reliable under higher spring loads. But stock, it performs well, so if you're just somebody picking up something for a family nerfing in the house, this is going to be a very nice little performer, especially, you know, chasing around darts on the floor and just front loading. It's easy to use. I think most people will be able to pull that prime, and it, it just performs well, looks good, feels good, and it comes in at $10 price point that I, I can go with. I'll put the link in the description below where you can pick this up. I picked mine up off of Amazon. And of course, then if you're a Prime member, you also get free shipping. But this is Mungus Jake with my quick review of the Nerf Doomlands Hold out. Thanks for watching.